to search for the old is to understand the new. The old, the new, this is a matter of time. In all things, man must have a clear mind. The way, who will pass it on straight and well. Karate Master Funakoshi. Kokondo martial arts truly stem from the art of the ancients. It all began with Paul Orell, founder of Kokondo. A powerful, practical system of self-defense, incorporating the best and most effective techniques of Bushido, martial arts. In this drawing is a rendition of Master William Sudo, a traditional Sanjiru Jiu-Jitsu master from Japan. He was to be Paul Orell's first martial arts teacher in 1950. The diner that was owned and operated by the Orells was the place in which Master Sudo first illustrated his martial arts expertise by handling a large bully about to harm the senior Orell behind the counter. This led to Paul Orell's martial arts training at the age of 15. He subsequently became one of, if not the first, non-Orientals to be awarded a legitimate black belt in Jiu-Jitsu. The uniqueness of the movements, the dynamics of Sudo Sensei in Jiu-Jitsu were such that uh, he could essentially take care of any situation, whether it be a, a strong attack, where it, it, it required a, a strong, appropriate response, uh, whether, which meant whether he had to break bones or, or, or whether just to tie the individual up. He was capable of all of that and capable, seemingly uh, like, a, like an excellent uh, uh, concert pianist, able to do it seemingly without effort. But obviously the, the effort was, was in there. In the dojo, for instance, he would, and, and always polite, of course, uh, following one of the codes of Bushido. Uh, in the dojo, uh, he, would, he would say, okay, please attack me. And then a couple of seconds later, he'd say, okay, please get up. Uh, which, and of course, uh, he, even that brought on a chuckle with a great deal of admiration for the individual's uh, techniques and style. In the late 50s, a second degree black belt by the name of Don Nagel, shown here with Sheehan Pallarell, came from Okinawa while in the United States Marines and introduced the karate style of Master Shimabuku, known as Ishinru. Nagel was undefeated on the island in Kumite, a form of freestyle karate fighting. This was Paul Rell's first karate sensei and co-bouncer while in the Marine Corps. The first official karate teacher that I had, a karate sensei, was uh, Don Nagel. Uh, he was from, well, at that time we called it Ishindo, but it's Ishinru now. Uh, and one of the things that we bored in our Kokondo system uh, was the proof of, of the, the lack of physical power necessary in the sense that, not, not that, uh, not that, uh, uh, not that uh, Ishinru was a, uh, not a powerful system, but if you looked at Don Nagel, uh, you saw a very skinny and wiry individual, and yet uh, a, lot, a lot of the straight line techniques well known in, in Ishinru and other Okinawan systems, uh, you, you knew that when you got hit, you got hit. Uh, and coupled with a couple of other systems that, that I later on encountered, uh, I wanted that type of movement, that type of power, that type of dynamics. Here's a, a very uh, slight looking individual who could muster a great deal of power by using proper straight line dynamics. In the beginning of the 1960s, Kyokushin Karate Master Masutatsu Oyama connected with Arel's Dojo which at the time was under the umbrella of the Sankata Karate Federation and the lineage of the Sanjiru Jiu-Jitsu by way of Master Sudo's teaching. Oyama was to become Orel's second major karate sensei. Oyama's visits around the world and his gift of dramatic demonstration 
including the barehanded killing of bulls, helped him spread his no-nonsense, knock-down karate quite quickly. Paul Orell was among the first Kyokushin black belts in the United States. Kokondo utilizes the end result of efficiency and power, spawned by many of the jitsu systems he encountered over the years. Great emphasis is placed on realistic self-defense in Kokondo martial arts. The karate in Kokondo stresses a more realistic karate jitsu rather than simply a dough form. Coupling the straight line techniques of Ishinru, uh, a, a, a subsequent uh, sensei in karate, was Master Mas Oyama, Masutatsu is his correct name, uh, who was Korean, but the style that he developed was very much a Japanese style. And there, the power of the individual and the individual style at that time was such that I, you know, in later days I knew that that was what we needed in Kokondo. We were very, very much desirous of the end result of the technique, uh, albeit probably not the dynamics that were uh, involved in getting to the end result. So in essence, we we found that the straight lines of Ishinru, the power uh, base of uh, of Kyokushin, and of course the dynamics of, of uh, jiu-jitsu made for one heck of a, a, a good, strong karate jitsu, kokando.